Ladies and gentlemen, now yesterday on the channel we did a Realm of Legends speed run with Guillotine 2099 and she gets the job done, uh, but you don't really get the potential to like properly ramp her up and see the really, really big damage numbers. So today, for a little bit of fun, I thought we'd jump into Labyrinth of Legends. Now our six star Guillotine is at rank two, man. We took her up just before the Realm of Legends speed run yesterday and we are using the four Suicide Mastery setup. And I think today's fights, especially Colossus, really does show you like how sustainable she is to use of the suicide masteries uh so yeah she's an absolutely fantastic champion because we've got that pre-fight ability whenever we use a medium attack here uh we're going to regenerate for five percent of the damage dealt on the basic here so it's not the biggest regeneration in the world you can see it's like 115 per hit there however it is some form of regeneration and this regeneration can be enhanced by using boost which we are not using today so we don't have like a 20 percent attack boost or a 30 percent attack and health boost active so you can get even more damage and even more regeneration out of this character uh, if you do use boost alongside her we also do have the second pre-fight ability active which gives us a guaranteed crit every 20 hits um, but what i found so far is that you know i'm not being too particular with trying to land that on like a big special two or anything like the goal with guillotine is just to rinse up that combo meter as quickly as you possibly can because uh, for every single hit you deal two percent of your attack as additional direct damage so you can see like every single hit man is just going up and up and up by a factor of about 60 per hit or just over that uh, and yeah especially with the special two and all of the hits this damage ramps up very very quickly so when we're about like 100 additional hits on the combo meter uh, we're seeing about 5,500 additional damage per hit that we land and this colossus has about 3.4 million hit points so a way to think about this colossus is kind of like seven realm of legends bosses stacked on top of each other uh, with also the evade mechanic as well so he is a very very chunky man and also in this fight just because he has the armor up and that's kind of mitigating our base damage I think our regeneration potential is also a little bit low because of that uh, but you can see so far man we've only taken 9% of our max health as damage which is really really good she's very good at clawing it back uh, pretty much every single medium is about 1% of your health so you know it's not the craziest most insane regeneration in the world but it is enough in kind of longer fights like this to cover the cost of the suicide masteries in terms of that 5% damage you take uh, via the recoil mastery. So yeah, providing you're playing this champion right and using the regeneration pre-fight ability, like she is absolutely fantastic for people that do love using the suicide masteries. And as you can see as well, she doesn't need her awakened ability, but the awakened ability is very nice to have because uh, if we do get hit, it would give us a combo shield. But since I don't have that, and also for a little bit of safety in Labyrinth of Legends, we are running the Nick Fury with Quake synergy uh, just to give us those three evade charges so if we do mess up man we're not going to get wrecked and also at the start of the fight we used a couple of heavy attacks to get a couple of combo shield charges as well so you know we have a lot of safety on us protecting that combo meter because uh, if guillotine does get hit and lose that combo her damage is going to go down exponentially between like zero to a hundred hits her damage output is rubbish but again if you do finish a fight with a special three uh, you can start the very next fight with a hundred hits on your combo meter and that's how we were able to instantly start this fight with 100 hits. So far, a really good time against Colossus. We're actually 208 hits in on this fight, uh, factoring in, you know, the 100 free hits we got. And look at that, man. We've almost got 12,000 additional damage every single time we land a hit. So we fire off a special two now. Look at all those rapid hits, man, like 12k, 12k, 12k. Kind of ramps up to 13k throughout all the hits as well. Uh, so yeah, it's just, just mad damage, man. Mad damage. Like, almost every Every single hit now uh, is dealing very close to like half of 1%. So we're looking at damage that's uh, about like 16,000, 17,000 if you factor in the hit itself, the degeneration, um, and also the additional direct damage. So it's just, uh, it's mad, man. I think she has by far the best damage output in the game once you get her properly ramped up. However, she's a bit more risky to play than Aegon, and I think Aegon has certain advantages like being able to deal like a lot of damage into the block and also become fully unblockable that at least in my opinion, kind of playing around with Guillotine today, I feel like Aegon is overall better for Labyrinth of Legends 100% if I had to pick one of these champions to do. Uh, however, like Guillotine is a really, really solid option for a lot of different fights. And over the next week or so, we're going to be having a look at a lot of Labyrinth of Legends gameplay. I did get a little bit carried away this morning. Uh, so if you want to see some magic and war machine gameplay, smash that like button. And if we can get to 1000 likes on this video, then that will be uploaded in 
uh, in the next day or two. But there we go. We got Colossus on 5% there. So we're just going to get him down a little bit more to about 2%. We did get hit once there, man. The Evade and Combo Shield saved us. We're going for a 5 combo, get him to 2% because there still is that 50k damage cap when it comes to the Labyrinth. We throw off the special 3 there and get this man down. So it was a really, really smooth kill against Colossus there. A really chunky lad in Labyrinth of Legends. And overall, I believe that was just under 300 hits. So I think that's the fastest Colossus solo that's on YouTube now because I saw an Aegon one that was about 8 minutes and about 400 hits. Uh, but yeah, that was a really great time. Now, next up, we have one of the quarter bosses in Labyrinth of Legends. And this fight is very interesting, especially if you bring in uh, one of the robots, so Sentinel, Dark Hawk, Nebula, or Warlock. Uh, for the synergy, you don't really need the synergy, man. It's just, you know, a little bit a little bit funky to have because um, I, I traded off damage for every single other fight just so I could, like, test out the synergy in this fight because whenever you get a poison in this fight, uh, we're going to get 70% of a bar of power. And this is Labyrinth of Legends Abomination who has additional poison as well. So this fight essentially just allows you to spam the special two for the most part, uh, but sometimes the power gain, as you're going to see, is a little bit too much, and you just go to a special three, because even hitting into his block, you can get poison. So yeah, we're throwing off a few special threes here and there, uh, but it's really, really fun, man. The synergy is honestly like a little bit a little bit crazy, and there are certain champions that I'd love to test out in various scenarios, such as Warlock, because Warlock is very kind of keen on spamming that special two, and if you can like chain on those armor breaks and stack up like four or six, you're going to be hitting really, really, really hard. But also, Sentinel and Darkhawk have a massive benefit from the synergy because they have very powerful special attacks with, uh, you know, Darkhawk special three and also Sentinel special two as well, man. There is a lot of incinerate damage on that one. Uh, but overall, this is a pretty damn fun fight. However, toward the end of this, I do make a very, very big mistake. Uh, but it's just great to see that damage ramping up very, very quickly on this one because the special two has so many additional hits there. So it's spam on the special two with the suicide masteries. We are taking a little bit of a beating from the recall damage overall, though. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's kind of working out okay. Uh, we get a little bit too much power gain there. Accidentally pushed to the special three again. But hey, the special three, it has a few hits on it. It doesn't deal like the worst amount of damage at all. I think it has a, a total of, uh, what is it, five hits there. So, yeah, it's okay, man. But nothing in comparison to like the eight hits of the special two, which is really, really nice. The Abomination again is a very, very chunky opponent, has about 3.4 million hit points. Uh, so yeah, this guy is much bigger than any champion you're going to fight on like your first uh, Lamprop of Legends clear path. Uh, but yeah, medium there, goes straight in with a special two. Direct damage per hit is just above 7,000 now, so we're dealing some really, really nice damage per hit. I think the average hit at the moment is about 8,500, 9,000. Uh, so yeah, you can see like per hit, man, how the damage really, really starts to ramp up and kind of working it out a little bit earlier if you can get to like the max 600 combo on guillotine 2099 which you probably will be able to in abyss of legends if you can play well enough in certain fights that is going to be around 33,000 direct damage per hit and that's only on a rank two so if we can get guillotine up to rank three in the future uh which definitely leaves me with you know a bit of a dilemma man whether or not i want to take up ghost or guillotine if we do manage to get a tier five tech catalyst so yeah if we do take this champion up it could possibly ramp up to about 50,000 direct damage per hit at the 600 combo, uh, which is insane, man. That's so, so insane. Like, factoring in, like, the base damage and degeneration damage at 600 hits, my combos could be dealing about, like, 50,000 damage at 6-star rank 3 with Suicide Masteries on. Um, so, yeah, I don't think there's anything in the game at the moment that's going to allow me to get to 600 hits, but if there is in the future, man, if we do need that big, 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 big damage, uh, we got the champion for it now, which is uh, which is fantastic, man. Definitely a very future-proof character by the look of it. Unless, of course, this character does get nerfed, which um, you don't really know what Kabam are really after at the moment, especially with, like, the Cull Obsidian nerf, because um, there are a lot of champions that can do, you know, substantially more than Cull Obsidian can do uh, that aren't even being touched. So, Guillotine, we're, we're gonna have to wait and see, man, but you probably can't safely rank up this champion for another six months. However, if you do get her very early and rank her up, then you've got, like, six months of absolutely destroying all of the end game content. So yeah, we're gonna have to see how they feel on this one. However, I did have a bit of a chat with some of the uh, developers and QA people uh, at New York Comic Con and they said they were very happy with Guillotine 2099 because uh, she does have a very good level of balance as well. Because 
because again, if you do mess up that combo, mate, you are absolutely screwed. And this is where I was absolutely screwed, man. I accidentally pushed Abomination to a special three. And in Labyrinth of Legends, there's just so much attack, so much damage. You have zero chance of survival. So yeah, I, I proper screwed the pooch on that one, lads. But we still managed to get him down about 75% in just over 250 hits. So yeah, it was a really solid try on Abomination. Uh, went in again, had to ramp up the combo and zero to 100 hits, man. The damage is uh, very, very lacking. Uh, so yeah, it took a, a lot more uh, hits to kind of finish this man off. But overall, a really positive impression of Guillotine 2099 in Labyrinth of Legends. She seems like an absolutely amazing champion for these colossal health pools. Uh, and I really hope that they don't nerf her. So that would be uh, a great time, man. But we're certainly going to have to see on that one. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, 1,000 likes and we will upload the magic and war machine takedowns to the channel. Aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed today's first look at Guillotine and Labyrinth of Legends. If you did, please do smash that like button. Aside from that, take care and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day. Thank you.